Hi, I'm Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and today I've got thrift shop finds to share with you. Last week when we went to our local St. Vincent's, they had moved the craft section and said it was to make room for more furniture. When I went back this week, they had moved it again to an even smaller corner, and it turned out the furniture they were making room for was refrigerators and used appliances. I can't even begin to tell you how disappointed I was by that. But I've been finding a lot of needlework kits there lately, so I got down on my knees in the corner to see if there was anything new since the week before. I apologize for having some glare here because these are all wrapped in their original plastic. The first thing that I found was this Charles Wysocki needlework kit. For the past couple of weeks, I've been looking on Instagram and decided that I really, really desperately have an urgent need to learn to do cruel. So finding one of my favorite designers in a cruel kit for 99 cents was about as good as it gets. The kit has been opened, but no one had started it yet. There is masking tape around the edges. I'm going to have to peel that off and zigzag the edges. And then whoever our previous stitcher was had taken the floss and organized it on a butterfly yarn organizer. I think I may pull the yarn off of this and try using it for another project. We'll see what turns out. I did a little more poking around and it's mostly thanks to my son who was looking at, for Halloween things that make noise that I found the rest of the craft supplies, which are at the other end of the store. I don't know what they're thinking, but I have no complaints. This is a Busilla needlework kit that I can't find a date on it, but boy, I would swear that this is from my great grandma's time. It has printed felt, it has sequins, it has floss. It says easy to do, no embroidery required. Somehow sewing all of those little sequins on looks a lot more intimidating than embroidery, but I'm excited to have it and I'll give it a try. Then I found the rest of the Cruel kits. First one is Childhood Treasures. It's a sunset design from 1975. It originally came from Sears for $10. Again, it's 99 cents, and white was the color of the day, so that made it 75 cents. And if you know me, if you follow my blog, I love dollhouses. All of these little details just have me giddy. Next one is flour, baking powder, and biscuit mix. It's very, very definitely 1978. This would have gone so well with my mother's kitchen. I can't even tell you. The yellow is dyed on the fabric, and then I guess you stitch the embellishments. I'm not sure. It's growing on me. This one I like better because even though it still screams 1970s, it's not nearly as yellow. And it doesn't have, if you can see, the pre-dyed fabric. It's a couple of different width, widths of wool. So we'll see. And there was this one, which I absolutely adore. I don't know how well it shows up here. You've got gardening stuff. There is a journal. There are scissors. These are in mason jars. Next to the Wysocki houses, this is probably my favorite of the bunch. And if you look at the price tag, this one originally came from Fred Myers for $14.50. Whoever had priced their stitchery kits this week, everything was 99 cents and everything was the 25% off. I don't like this one. I don't know why I bought this one. At the time, the rationale was something like, you will never, ever, ever find this kit new in the packaging again, and you shouldn't separate it from its friends, and I just... I have no excuse. In hindsight, these losses are the same as most of the other kits, so I think I might hang on to it in case I do make one of these and run out and need more matching thread. 
thread floss yarn. Yarn is the term I'm supposed to be using there, isn't it? This one is newer and cuter. Again, it came from Fred Meyers. What I didn't notice until after I got it home was it is an embellished kit, and I'm not a fan of embellished. If I'm going to stitch it, I want to stitch the whole dang thing. But I'm thinking since I've never done Cruel before, I've never tried the stitches, this one might be my guinea pig to see if I can get it right before I break into the kits that I really do love. Uh, wreath, I think this was originally going to be the guinea pig try to figure out what I'm doing before sacrificing something I love project. And little enabling voice in the back of my head said, you've never done candle wick. You might someday wake up in the morning with an overwhelming urge to do candle wick. And wouldn't it be nice if you had a kid in your stash just in case? It could happen. And the last one was, I thought, the sailboat. It turns out the sailboat was open and someone has done, someone's done a little bit of the stitching, so I may practice my stitches on this one. It wouldn't be, I've got the pattern and the yarn and it might not be a bad one to try things out on. What surprised me when I did see this was open and reach inside to see if it had been started as this is the only one out of all of these that has been started even though a couple were open. I found Christmas ornaments. They are, if I can find them in here, they are pre-printed, they are pre-printed felt and I just, these are something my grandma would have made. She did one at one point have a tree full of felt ornaments with sequins and all the time in the world it must have taken to make those. So these really remind me of her and I'm looking forward to maybe tackling them later this year. Thanks for joining me for my craft haul. I've decided that since this is my third huge needlework kit haul of the past couple of months. The others don't have their own YouTube videos. That instead of worrying about when I'm going to get all of this done, I am just going to say that I collect vintage needlework kits and I'm happy with them. This entire haul came to, I believe, $8.61, which is what I could have spent on a combo meal for lunch. So I'm not feeling even the tiniest bit of guilt about spending the money. And to put things in perspective, for these two kits, I spent about $1.50, which if I went to the craft store, would have bought me three skeins of floss. I can't wrap my mind around whether that is a horrible thing or a wonderful thing. I'm going with wonderful. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back soon with more videos. Thank you.